I, I, I know I can do a lot of things. I believe in a lot of things. I stand for a lot of things. But I think it comes down to something that is runs through. It's a thread that runs through and you can find the commonalities and it can be like from Isidingo to uh, 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 playing a part in Inamba Namba to climbing mountains to being on bicycles. But there's a thread that runs through it all and it's consistent. And I really believe that it can shape and it can evolve because we're evolving people. But you'll find that as 38, it's the same kind of thing that connected me to everything that I'm doing now that I did at high school. And yet my priorities will always change. I grow older, family, love, marriage, losing work, finding work, um, um, uh, um, dark moments, bad moments, parents dying, friends dying. I'm finding what life truly means to me. Those are the things that either can, can create your awareness of your purpose or reshape it or rethink it, but it's always been there. And most importantly, for me, purpose is about influence. That's why power, position, money, wealth, stature, cars, those things come and go. But for me, it's about the influence that I can have. And if it's just that one goal, that same Kubi, that one day that you came to our school and just like sat with us and just hang out and talked girl talk, made me think that, hey, I can do that too. I'm okay. Gosh, I, I love pours out of me. That's one thing. I say I love you to everybody. And yes, my husband might be like, mm, what about me? But he knows. And I think what I learned through my marriage and through my history of marriage, so we were dating for 15 years, and then the parents were like, Nenzani. You know, so the Lobola and the marriage, and it was beautiful because I'm married to a Scottish guy, and I'm closer, so the traditional was really beautiful. It was really a kaleidoscope of color and fusion and love. As much as I love him, I, as a woman, and I've realized this, so I'm saying this to you and to you, but to me as well, I have to consistently work at my marriage. It's not just something that, oh my gosh, see happy all the time. Um, like everything else that we do as black women, we work hard, we invest, we put the hours in, we put the time in, we put the passion in, we put the purpose in, and that should be true to our relationships as well. I've learned just through a process of healing, when people pass away in life, song as your tuga, we're all like, oh my gosh, we were gonna have coffee tomorrow, we we're gonna to do this, we we're gonna do that, and they're gone. Cherish and express and show and advocate and be aware of the people that you love and the people that you are loved by. Always just regurgitate appreciation of life, especially the loved ones in life. Oh, that's right. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. I have to have faith. We have to have faith. But I also believe in hard work, integrity. Not to say that I'm all these things. It's a daily striving. It has to be. Uh, we have to take responsibility for the things that we do and for the things that we say. We have to be courageous. We have to be persistent. We have to have fortitude. We have to rise above criticism because it's so hard to walk the journey and stand up again after being crushed and divided by your own peers sometimes as women. You know that syndrome. Be unique. Nobody wants to be like you, but we like to emulate, but never imitate. Um, curiosity for me is everything. Want to learn, have a teachable spirit, grow, challenge yourself, you know, aspire. Um, and the journey is only your own journey. It's your own path. You create it as you go along. Um, yeah, it's a journey and enjoy it. It's a journey and enjoy it. It's a journey and enjoy it.
For these and more, visit quintiasay.com.